What is up guys, this is Vincer and in this video I will guide you how to beat the new 7 star Terror Raid Blastoise in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Without further ado, let's get into it. If this is your first time in his channel, please do subscribe as it will help the channel grow. I would definitely appreciate it. Anyway, back to the video. So this Terror Raid event will only have one run. It will start from March 6th and will end on March 12th. And now that we know its schedule, we are now going to discuss about the possible build for the 7 star Terror Raid Blastoise. First and foremost, its base type is Water. However, the Terror type will be Steel. Since it's going to be Steel, the weaknesses are going to be Fighting, Ground, and Fire. Then Blastoise has two abilities, Torrent and Rain Dish. I assume Blastoise will use Rain Dish for this Terror Raid. So when a Heavy Rain is in effect, it will recover some HP. Now regarding the stats, its highest attack stat is its special attack which is 85. However, it is not far from its physical attack which is 83. So there's a possibility that Blastoise might be a mixed type of attacker. But I think Blastoise will become a special attacker since it has more special than physical. Its defense stats are also almost the same. Physical defense is 100, then special defense is 105. Its HP is 79 and its speed is 78. With this stats, we can see that we can use either a physical or a special attacker, but I prefer physical since that's the lowest defense stat of Blastoise. Now let's talk about its possible moves. For physical, we have Avalanche, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and also Zen Headbutt. This is possible but less likely. I'm just saying this guys because sometimes Pokemon wants to Terror Raid a little challenging. Now for the special moves, we have Flash Cannon for its Terror Stab move, Hydro Pump for its Water type move, Ice Beam again for its Ice type move, then Water Pulse and Water Pledge, also a possibility for Water type moves. As for the status moves, we have Rain Dance. This move will benefit Blastoise's Rain Dish ability. Then Iron Defense, of course to protect itself from physical attackers. So that is the possible build for Blastoise. Now I'm gonna discuss the possible counters. I'll discuss Pokemon that can possibly solo it and Pokemon that can be good in a team setup. The first one is the Rapid Strike Urshifu. This is the Fighting Water type. What I like about this Pokemon is its 130 base attack stat and also its weakness immunity from Blastoise's moves. It doesn't have any weaknesses except if Blastoise have Zen Headbutt. Now for the moves, I have Drain Punch for its stab and HP recovery, Swords Dance to raise its physical stat, Low Sweep to make Blastoise slower, then Iron Defense in case Blastoise has a physical attack move. Second one is Volcanion. This is a fire and water type Pokemon. This is not weak against the steel, water and ice type moves of Blastoise. Let's just hope that Blastoise doesn't have Earthquake or maybe a rock type move because those are the two moves that this Pokemon is weak against. Now Volcanion's ability Water Absorb is also a counter to Blastoise's water type moves. Every time Volcanion is attacked by a water type move, it will heal up one fourth of its HP. Now for Volcanion's moves, we have Flamethrower for our stab, Willow Wisp to inflict burn, Fire Spin to deal small damage for five turns, then Sunny Day to boost our fire attack moves and also weaken the water type attacks of Blastoise. Third is Swampert. This is a water ground Pokemon, so that means it is only weak to grass type moves, which Blastoise doesn't have. If you're going to use Swampert, you may need a teammate for support. Now for the moves, we have Earthquake for our staff move, Screech to harshly lower the defense stat of Blastoise, Amnesia to sharply raise our special defense stat. Then Bulldoze, a secondary staff move that can also lower the speed stat of Blastoise. Now the last three Pokemon that I'm about to show you are the regular Pokemon that we have been using ever since. So I'll just show them to you real quick. The fourth one is Iron Hands. This is a great Pokemon that deals great damage but just perfectly executing Belly Drum. Its only weakness from Blastoise is a ground type move. Now as for the moves of Iron Hands, we have Belly Drum of course to maximize our attack stat, 
Drain Punch for our Fighting Stab move, and of course for our HP Recovery. Then we have Low Sweep for our Secondary Stab move. And for the fourth one, I guess we can do Iron Defense just in case Blastoise has a powerful physical attack move. The fifth one is Annihilate. This Pokemon doesn't have any weaknesses from Blastoise. For the ability, we'll use Defiant. Just in case Blastoise lowers one of our stats, our attack stat is raised by two stages. Now for the moves, we have Drain Punch, Screech, Sunny Day, and Rage Fist. Rage Fist is the move we'll use for us to stack our damage. The final one is Gallade. This Pokemon also doesn't have any weaknesses from Blastoise's moves. As always, the Sharpness ability is the ability we are going to use so we can boost the power of our slicing moves by 50%. So for the moves, we have Sacred Sword for our stab move, Sword Stance to raise our attack stat, Drain Punch for our survivability, and Light Screen to lessen the special attack damage from Blastoise. So that's it guys, those are the possible counters and my personal recommended builds for the new 7 star terror raid Blastoise. Just to remind you that these are not yet final, we might need to wait for the terror raid for us to know what's the best Pokemon and what's the best build. So I'm just really giving you ideas. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you a lot. If you enjoyed it, Please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more awesome videos like this. Vincent here, see you next time. Take care. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you a lot. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more awesome videos like this. Vincent here, see you next time. Take care.